Good morning, it's Steven Zonarder here with Remax West Zonarder Associates. Happy Monday morning, and just a quick follow up with the market. We'll talk about inventory, we'll talk about a new article that I just found regarding housing affordability, and the third topic is just basically how we're uh, going into the uh, winter market to sell our clients' homes for the most amount of money. And we had a, an amazing, successful bidding war uh, that happened last week. So, let's start, start with the first segment, just talking about inventory. We're down to 13,175 units, it's a thousand from last week. So, it goes to show you, like I'm, I'm telling you, that we'll probably go down to about 12,000 into December, and then January might even be lowered, maybe about 11,000 units which is uh, if you see the market right now it's on fire you're starting to see bidding wars on on uh, all properties because there's zero inventory so if you have a good product you get it to the market you're gonna go into multiple offers as long as you set it up properly um, yeah that's, so that's that's basically that on inventory uh, and the second segment is basically an article that rolls up with inventory and I've been talking about the last couple of months just regarding if there's a lack of inventory and it's gonna start driving up prices then we're gonna have that same peak that we had in 2017 and that collapse and and we're not at, on as stable ground as we were let's say 2016 to 2017 so it'll be the worst thing to happen to us hopefully we can just get something where a moderation where we get into that five to ten percent appreciation but uh, just jumping at this article it's, it's titled housing market may need more policy tightening says OECD which is the organization organization for economic uh, cooperation uh, development in here in Canada and it says that there's challenges ahead from weak business investment and global trade and he said that there's two these two factors are a widespread global economy and must be addressed to avoid damages to avoid uh, long-term growth and then they they kind of switched it over so they're talking about investment talking about employment but then they switched over to housing and it says the housing market still has some potential risks uh, as markets rebound there's a danger that the weak supply weak supply remember always talking about inventory weak supply of available and affordable homes will drive up prices and this is what we're, we're ha what's happening right now is that there's a lack of inventory and everything's going into bidding wars and we're starting to get more um, you know the sales starting to get higher than what they should be in market value so I always say that a, a successful successful transaction is a closed transaction and um, we don't want to get into major bidding wars where ultimately the the house doesn't appraise and we have problems on closing where it, it puts our clients if they've already purchased a property we can't close their property because naturally it doesn't get appraised then we have to get it back on the market we have to do a bridge finance which is, is you know it's gonna it'd be a, just a huge disaster and it's a lot of stress if you're not in business and you're not used to having a uh, high intensity stress and and you're basically hedging on the market like more of speculation if you don't have that type of mentality it'll definitely burn you right out so what i always suggest is uh, obviously we do a house uh, market evaluation prior to listing any house so we kind of know where this where the property market value is now if we get an offer in that's 20 30 40 50 thousand dollars over the let's say the the market value what's what the market's bearing for this particular home i always avoid uh, i advise my clients that this could be a risk going forward so it's always up to them that if they want to pull the trigger it's always a substantial amount of money um the, the thing is we're getting information from the buyer's agent regarding their client if they were qualified or not and uh, we had a case in brampton where the same same situation where i had a you know i, I ranged from a 780 to 820 range that's the, the value of the property because that's what the homes were selling in that area that same house we sell it for 875 i advise my clients going for it, at that time that it's a risk because of appreciation of, of the uh, the appraisal if the appraisal is going to go through or not and you know long behold three days later on closing we can't they the buyers can't get the financing and uh, we had to extend it an, an additional month and um, thankfully we closed but ultimately there's a lot of stress you know and and for the buyers themselves they got into a, a B mortgage plus a, some private money to close the mortgage which is going to be uh, a super high payment per month for potentially lose the property in the next couple of years and, and you know that's just that's a sad thing about that so third segment just personal business uh, last week I was talking about we were holding offers because it was last Monday on a particular property uh, we did and we got amazing value for the property so we had about 60 showings in four days we had 10 offers registered the night of the uh, bidding war and then we sold it for it was six six twenty six which is the highest sold three bedroom two bath in the neighborhood which is awesome it's just a, a townhouse but you know the amount of people and, and the activity was just fantastic so we we st strategically placed it not super low we're brought in you know let's say 20 30 40 offers we put it at a point where we're gonna get you know let, let's say five 
offers we won't even look at and five offers that we can work with. So that's what is strategically how we place that. So that was a great sale. Personally, I, I have that uh, new investment I bought that live work here in Kleinberg. Looks like we got a potential tenant for the uh, lower level. Upstairs is already rented, so we're just looking for that commercial tenant. Looks like we have an amazing uh, family that's going to take it over as a hair salon. So that's going to be super excited. It's my first commercial tenant. So uh, very, very cool. And that's pretty much it, guys. Have an amazing day. We'll talk soon. Ciao.